Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be talking all about local service ads or LSAs or Google local service ads. Maybe you've heard of them um, in those different terms. But what we're going to talk about are what are they, how they work, and most importantly, how to win by using local service ads and how to put your best foot forward. So we're using local service ads in part of our whole online dominance method with our clients. And all year we've been talking about how to dominate online and maximize your lead flow. What are we doing? We wanna terminate our competition and we wanna just have this entire dominance so that we're taking over uh, page one. We wanna take a look at all the different channels, how to set up your, we've talked about how to set up your website correctly, making sure that it's optimized, making sure that it ranks organically, how to rank on Google Maps. We've done uh, a talk about that and how to leverage paid search. We've, we've uh, done a webinar on paid search as well. Right now, we're really focused on paper lead type of stuff, Google local services and Google local service ads. And it's just all so very important in maximizing your leads for your pest control business. So I'm gonna ask that uh, for your undivided attention, I know in this uh, hectic past year and a half, we've probably all been on a lot of different Zoom meetings and uh, just ask that you turn off your cell phone, turn off Facebook. Um, if you're like me, I always have a couple tabs open or my phone might be off to the side. I'm just going to turn that off and and I found that when I actually give something my undivided attention, I'm taking notes, I'm more apt to implement that. Just go back and, and, and get it started. So if you're really serious about taking that next step in your business and you're here to, to follow along, just follow along for the next 30 to 40 minutes. It's going to be a game changer, I promise. I'm going to be giving you some information I guarantee that you or your competitor haven't seen. And these are things you can just implement starting today. So what we're gonna cover today, we're gonna be talking about what are Google local services, where it's active, how it works, how you can jump on board if you're not already active or active in your area. But the bulk of what we're going to talk about is how does the rankings work? There are systems in place that Google loves, Google loves Google, and how we can use uh, our local service ads to outrank our competition if they're using them too. So if there's a hundred hundreds of contractors in any given market and Google is charging an average cost per lead, how are you going to be the one of the top three versus the other 97 contractors. So we'll talk about specific things you can do that sets you at that advantage, taking higher quality leads at a lower cost. So if that sounds good and that's what you came for today, type a one in the chat. I'd love to hear you back, hear your feedback. All right, we've got some ones. Yep, awesome. Thanks for, thanks for coming on board today. So who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, I've been running a local, successful local marketing agency for about 11 years now. I'm an active member of the MPMA, National Pest Management Association. And I'm currently working with uh, several pest control businesses throughout the United States. Our mission is to help a thousand pest control companies across the country. So what I share with you is based on the real world and proven, um, and it's been proven to work with our clients. We're, we're doing these. So my team is completely passionate about implementing these strategies for companies just like yours. We want to increase your sales and revenue and take your company to that next level. So that's what we're about. This presentation isn't just about getting your, getting you to hire us. But if along the way you think we have some good uh, fit, got a good idea, we'd love the opportunity to, to talk with you. Let's dive in. What are Google local services? When you go to 
go to Google right now and type in your city plus pest control. In most markets, Google's going to give you three results above the map listings. So you might have seen it as Google Guarantee or Google Home Service Ads, um, and they've just kind of rebranded it over, over time. So as you can see on this visual, you've got the three at the top. Those are the local service ads. Then you've got the paid ad, you've got the map, and the three pack um, right below that. So ultimately what it is, it's a three pack with a Google Guarantee stamp basically, where customers can dial your number directly and get um, to pre-qualified contractors. And we'll talk about pre-qualification -qualif because there are things you're gonna have to submit before you can even just do this. So what you'll be able to see is when you click on that, you will see a lot of, your consumer's gonna see a lot of information and details quickly and it's all in one place. You see the address, you see the reviews, the hours, a little bit of information on health and safety, the phone number, it's right there, right at the top and easily available to um, access and see. So why does this matter? Let's talk about why it matters and why these LSAs are so important. 80%, 87% of people are using Google from their phones, tablets, laptops. So it's so important that you have this massive presence where your customers are searching. Beyond that, it's really the number one place that people are looking when they need your services. And the local service ads just come, they're right at the top. Our stats are telling us that 60 plus percent of consumers are looking from their phone. And those LSA ads are above the fold on the phone. So you're gonna see more on your laptop where you'll see the LSAs and then you'll see the ad and maybe partially part of the map. But on your phone, since it's condensed, it's going to just be the LSAs that you're, you're pretty much seeing. So that's that first section or that first section above the fold on a mobile device. That's where they're going to see it. So there's really no higher intent of a prospect looking for your services. And if, you know, those LSAs being there, if you have to scroll down to the organic listing, then they're they're there, but they're right there, and they're, everything is right accessible to their fingertips. So let's face it, if they don't need us, they don't need us until they really, really need us. So it's so important that we're there when they're searching for it, and that we really have that plan to win with Google Local Services. So where it's active. Now, it is. it started out just being in larger areas and major markets. At this point, it's pretty much nationwide. Um, the, the, in every major market, um, and they're active, but there are some small pockets, some rural areas where they may not be as um, where they may not be active. It's really rapidly growing over the small towns and the smaller markets. And at this rate, over the next couple of years. It'll pretty much be in every search you run for every home service um, out there. So how does it impact search results? So as you can see in this visual, there are all the different searches Google monetizes. Google Home Services or Google Local Services being at the top, the three at the top. So when you search, this is what the consumer is going to get first. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be paying attention to Google Maps or Google AdWords or optimizing for organic search. Absolutely not. And I actually just did another webinar covering those important details and how many people are looking at the map and how many people are looking at the organic um, listings right below the map. Those are just as important. But with that being said, LSAs are so important with being at the front of the fold at this point in time, specifically on mobile, because that's where they pretty much take the entire section of um, the mobile device up. 
So to get into Google local services, it's not just you you pay your money and, and you're on there. You have to fill out an application and Google actually runs a background check on you and your employees. Um, you're gonna, they're gonna run a license check, a background check, all the business owners, technicians, they have to complete a background check and they do this through a company called Pinkerton. Sometimes that process can uh, be very time consuming and I've heard other times people turn in their applications and it's live in an hour. And it's not just your application, it's your licensing, like a city license, state license, things like that, all have to be uploaded and approved. Once you've submitted the background data and the information Google needs to get you approved, once you're approved, you will then be paying on a pay, uh, a per lead basis. Now we're gonna talk about that per lead basis, how it's different than what you've gotten in HomeAdvisor um, or Thumbtack or one of those other third parties. They're better leads, they're qualified leads. They're not gonna be you know, something that you're paying for and is not a good lead. So we'll talk about that too as well. Now this price per lead, it's gonna shift over time depending on, the par on that market that you're in. So if you're already on Google local service ads, pop a comment in the, uh, in the group. Let us, let, let us know what the average cost is per lead in your area. Let me know if you're on it or, if, or what your cost per lead is. David's saying it's 25%, 25 a lead. Chad's 30. Kristen's at 25. Davis is, oh, he's in Phoenix, okay. And it's $24 out in Phoenix. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised it's that low in Phoenix. Okay, well, perfect. Thank you, guys. Um, as you can see in a nutshell, that's kind of how it works. But we're gonna go through the steps here. So how are you charged? Basically, you set up a weekly budget that limits the total number of how much you wanna pay in any a week and then Google carves that out based on what the cost per lead is in that area. So for example, you're setting aside 2000 per month, 500 per week, 71 per day, that cost per lead equals out to $35. The good part is you only have to pay on per lead basis and the average cost per lead is, is low. The bad part is if you don't have enough budget, you will quickly come, um, those results are, are, are gonna um, not be there. So you wanna make sure if you have the capacity, open up that budget as much as possible. You might get a different number of leads from day to day, but you'll never spend more than your budget. You also have the ability to immediately dispute leads if you receive a lead that's not valid. So let's say basically someone calls in and says they're not actually interested in your services, um, if they're spam, solicitor, things like that. There's a great dispute process, it's super easy, and you won't get charged for that lead. Unlike some of the other third-party companies that um, just charge you uh, per lead and, it, and they might give you a, a small part of a refund back or they might credit you or something like that, it's it's easy to dispute it. So a bad lead, for example, would be a solicitor or spam. Um, and what we've seen, Google's been really good with working with you on a non-legit um, lead with giving your money back. Um, I. I'd like to hear from you guys. If you've ever ran into this problem, leave a review, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Is that true? If you've seen this uh, come in and you've had to dispute a, um, a lead that's not valid. Kristen says, it's good to hear from you, Kristen. She said they're really quick with getting your money back. They are fast and give you the benefit of the doubt. Awesome, cool, 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 cool. So I would say kind of looking at this from a high level, we've got some pretty good feedback on, on um, 
other users and, and what they're seeing on this on, on local service ads. The quality of leads are actually people who are calling into your company versus just leads they're acquiring and they're not vetted. You're still going to get some price shoppers, um, and that's going to happen anywhere. But for the most part, it's really a good solid return on investment. And our clients that have um, have been implementing it, they're really happy with it. So why is this really a no-brainer for a pest control business or any home service business? First of all, we want you to show up on all of the top places that your clients are looking for. If, you're, if they are looking on Google, we have LSAs, pay-per-click, organic ads, and other directories. And we want to show up there, everywhere. And we want to be right where that customer is looking for. So having the right budget and plan can help make sure we're covering all of those platforms. And we want to be on a pay-per-click basis so that you have the lowest possible cost per lead. So you can also set and change your budget whenever you need to. So it's really just a no-brainer to go all in and be as aggressive as possible. How do you get set up if you're not already on it? So there's really two scenarios. One could be it's not active in your area. We talked about that. It's pretty much nationwide, but it is um, still not available in some smaller rural areas or some um, small um, uh, towns. The other one is you're just not active in it yet and you haven't submitted your application yet. Now, if you work with us, we will support you through the entire process. It won't be an instant access. You have to upload all of that information. We'll get all the details from you. We'll help you point you, point you in the right direction. And we'll walk you through that process of you signing up for it and then making sure that you are optimizing those ads and making sure that everything is um, working correctly. So first thing is, yes, sign up at adwords.google.com forward slash local services forward slash sign up. And I'll drop this link in the chat. If you don't happen to catch it in the chat, um, we do have a Facebook group. I'll leave that link as well, and it should be on the replay. Uh, we'll have that information in there. It's called the Beehive. Um, and you can uh, follow us on Facebook in our group. And uh, there's all sorts of good uh, tidbits in there. So as you sign up, Google will make sure you're vetted with your licenses and all, um, all of your information that is correct that you've submitted. And it can be a little bit of a process. Um, we've seen some that take a couple months. We've seen others that have submitted their information and it comes active by that evening or the next day. It just depends on what they're, you know, what they're looking at and if everything's filled out correctly. Now, this is one of the most important things and how you can outrank your competition if you're both doing local service ads. So this is where we really want to focus on, and this is kind of like the meat and potatoes of, of how to get these local service ads really ranked. Let's say you're already on local service ads or if you haven't. How do you stay on there? How do you stay at the top? Well, there's a couple of things that play out. Your proximity to your customers, the location plays a huge role. So what we have been able to tell from Google, they're still giving priority to the people closest to the listing on that service ad. The next thing they're looking at is your review score and your number of reviews that you receive both on Google and verified reviews. And there's, those are different. How responsive are you to your customers? How quickly you respond to someone calling in and how quickly you close the loop on that call and, you're, and it's booked. So all of these factors taken into, into consideration on whether you're going to stay up there 
in that three pack or your competition's going to. Your business hours. Remember, your business hours have to be identical across the board on every platform, on social media, on your website, everywhere. Um, what time you open impacts your results. If you're open from 9 to 6 and your competition's open 24-7, their local service ad's going to show before yours will. If you've received a serious complaint, that's going to um, affect it. Um, in addition, these rankings, um, Google will attempt to spread out the leads you receive over time. That's just to prevent you from spending your entire budget early in that budget period. So if your ad is generating leads more quickly than your budget can accommodate, you may see your ranking affected or your ad paused temporarily in order to more evenly spread out those leads. So what I want to do now is shift into the real world. And what we know is how LSAs work, what they are, and why they are important. Now comes the most significant part of local service ads as a user. The first thing I want you to do is dial in your service area, your profile, and your budget. And this may seem simple, but if you don't, it could just leave money on the table, which could potentially keep you from getting the results you want to see. So we want to make sure our jobs are booked. Unlike home advisor leads or SEO leads, these leads come directly from that ad and come directly from the dashboard that Google gives you. They're all tracked and Google wants to see you close that loop. They want to know how many of those leads were either scheduled or booked. So it's, it's really important to have someone on your team closing the jobs out. Google is data-based and they want to know if those leads are converting and providing the consumer with that good experience. Um, they want to know are you dealing with disputes and protecting yourselves from bad leads? And then you want to drive verified reviews. These are reviews that only happen, the verified reviews. You have the Google reviews and then you have the verified ones. And these are the reviews that only happen within the Google local services. And then we want to target 85% booking rate. So I believe what gets measured gets done and we want to keep a focus on towards our goal. So number one, dial in your profile, set up your budget, open it up if you have the capacity, update your ad schedule, set up your business bio, select your job types, set up your service areas, update your business hours and add photos using a personality photo as the primary. Number two, most important suit. This is so super important. What I'm seeing a lot uh, companies are not doing, they're not setting that as booked or marking it as booked. And this is so critical. Google has to see that jobs and leads that you're getting from their LSAs are being handled and turning into money for you and the ads that are are turning into a good experience for the customer. So you want to mark that job as booked. Um, and you're not leaving that open and, and that lack of closure there. Um, so how do we do that? If you're going to do a Google local service ad, you want to have someone dedicated to mark that, that job booked. So to recap, mark your job as booked. Google rates your responsiveness by how well you complete your job. Schedule them answer the call, mark it as booked, add the customer details. Um, at a bare minimum, you need someone to go through, listen to the call recorded on Google and figure out if that job was booked or not and then mark it as, as being booked. And that's just a bare minimum. So number three, dealing with disputes. You don't wanna have to pay for things that don't make any financial sense to you. There's just a, a quick dispute button you uh, won't be charged for any of just qualified leads, any lead that comes outside of your area or a service that you um, don't provide. 
As we talked about earlier, anything that's a solicitor or spam, you can dispute that very easily. The next step, number four, drive verified views. And there is a difference between a Google review and a Google verified review. A verified review means that someone called the number on your local service ad, someone on the team marked it as booked and did a follow up to get the review. So you can see how the more rev verified reviews you get, the better off you're going to be over your competition. And you're giving Google exactly what they want. Close out the job, submit the request review, and did the, you know, did the job and have the customer actually post the review. So it shows in the dashboard um, ask for a review option. So it's basically requesting the customer to verify their review. That's the whole process, which is different than using your um, review platform. Maybe down the road they'll work on integrating the two, but for now it's the only way to get that approval and that verification through um, the Google review uh, verified ones. So number of those reviews are a major driver um, on ranking on ranking your um, LSAs. Number five, the last critical thing here is we want to shoot for a high booking rate. Okay, the calls are coming in. We want to answer them. We want to book them. We want to uh, do the appointment. We want to do um, get that verified review. But if we're not answering the phone, we're not booking them. So we've seen booking rates as low as zero. Uh, when it comes down to that, um, I just think it's a lack of awareness. So you, I really encourage you to have someone on your team track this and shoot for 85% or better. That's going to... Um, that's going to appeal to Google and they're going to um, improve your rankings on that. So how to increase your lead flow from local services. Open up your budget. Expand your service areas, your job types, your ad schedule, your business hours. Close out every lead. Book it, schedule it, archive it, and then request a review on every job. That does require you to take the call get the email and then push out that request, but it's just going to, to put you over your competition. Um, that's pretty much a wrap on how to win with Google local services. What you should be doing now, get with your strategy partner on our team um, or you can, you, we can help you walk through this process or you can go there directly and upload everything you need to do, get your background checks done, um, put your tracking in place to gauge your um, return on investment, and then leverage the platform to close those jobs out and get those um, verified reviews and play that game while, while the um, return on investment makes sense. So if this is something you'd like for us to help you with, or if, or if you're not seeing the, optim, uh, the conversions that you're really wanting on your website, um, or if there's any other questions you have on your online marketing that you're, you're just not seeing the results you want to see, we'll be happy to do a marketing inspection with you. It's a free marketing inspection where we take a look at your website, see if there's any loopholes that you're... Um, missing that might uh, cause you not to be con converting uh, customers when they come there. See what your competition's doing um, in comparison to what you're doing and um, just kind of guide you through the process and see how we can either help you or give you some ideas on how to, um, you know, get better rankings on, on online. Um, if you have any questions, call us directly at 618-698-7139. Uh, you can go online. Um, you can book directly through us uh, free, for that free marketing inspection. And we hope that you gathered something today and uh, see you on the next on the next call. And thanks, everybody, and have a great day.